Hello, today we're going to discuss the if function. The if function is one of the most important and fundamental skills in Excel. In many ways, it's a bedrock for Excel and it really opens your eyes to understanding the logic behind Excel. So before we do a tutorial example, I'm going to show you two definitions that I put together that help you get the most basic sense of what the if function is about. So here's our first definition. If something is true, then show me this. If it's not true, then show me that. Another way to look at this, if something exists, then do this. If not, then do that. So when you break it down, it's pretty simple. If something is happening, then show me this. If something is not happening, then show me that. Now let's do a really basic example. I'm going to put the number 1 in this cell. Now let's start with our if function. You put in the an equal sign and type in if. There it is. And hit tab. There you go. If logical test. So this is where we're going to put in our condition. If something is true, like we said in our definition. So I'm going to say if this equals 1, then show me. I'm going to put in the word happy. When you put in a word, you need to put it in quotes. And now the comma separated our condition. And if it's not true, then show me sad. And there you go. P pretty simple. And just to test it out, if we change this to another number and hit enter, now it's sad. If we change it to 100, it's still sad. Negative 1, it's still sad. Negative 500, it's still sad. So it only shows us happy if our condition is true. Otherwise, no matter what, it will show us sad. And that's really the breakdown of the Excel if function. In future videos, I'll go deeper into how you can really use the if function in different scenarios and in examples and cross use it with other formulas and functions. So thanks for watching.